Howdy folks and welcome to Brain Riders. The What If Marvel TV series just had a huge season 1 announcement in regards to its episodes. So we're going to be talking about that as well as some Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 stuff with the Watcher potentially being a massive character in that movie. So stay with me. First let's talk about What If now having 9 episodes in season 1 instead of the planned 10 episodes. This is a result of this pandemic affecting the show's production and amount of animating that could be done in that short amount of time. Now since the What If series is canon to the MCU it's likely the show will lose some of its linear storytelling and might not have as much of a large impact on the MCU moving forward. I personally believe that the What If series is isolated in its own way, being that each episode explores one branch of the multiverse. So the lacking episodes shouldn't have as big of an impact, but you know, it means that season two of the What If series will now have 11 episodes. So it's bittersweet. We still get the episode just spread apart and we'll see it in season two. It's actually what happened with WandaVision's finale and how COVID-19 halted production too long and they couldn't finish the VFX in time for Senior Scratchy actually being a demon and they couldn't finish the VFX on that demon. So they went another way with it. So it was a little more restricted in that sense. But while the show's executive producer, Brad Winterbaum, revealed that he also let it slip that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 could include the Watcher as an important character character you know before I read you the quote the situation essentially is that one of the episodes that was pitched for the what if series presumably like Guardians 1 episode accidentally contained a lot of the back half of the third Guardians film including the watcher so let me read from the article here and you'll see where the watcher comes into play so the quote begins with I'm going to stay away from that question Bradley says when IGN asked for more details on the watchers the reasoning is because Bradley says they spent three days on the storyline tackling the character then walked in Brad Winterbaum the executive producer through all my hard work only to find out I accidentally pitched the back half of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 meaning that the character of the Watcher has a massive role in the back half of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 so much so he actually affects a whole half of the film that means that the Watcher who is the narrator for the What If series will get a live action version of him played by Jeffrey Wright live action characters aside with the rumors of Guardians Galaxy Volume 3 containing plot lines like Drax reuniting with his daughter who is still apparently alive and it is confirmed by Dave Bautista who plays Drax that his la this is his last Guardians film meaning we can expect his death in it not only that but the story this time around will include Rocket being the main focus and being the driving force of the story instead of Peter Quill from the past few movies hey you made this far you might as well subscribe if you're new as well as hitting that bell for notifications so you don't miss another video just like this one however I think the watcher will intervene with fixing Gamora back in to being Gamora that we know and love because the Gamora we have now has only just affected from Thanos being the 2014 Gamora who doesn't love Quill and has no idea who the Guardians are. This is the Gamora that we now have to deal with. I believe since the Watcher can see throughout the multiverse, who's to say that he can't manipulate it maybe a little bit? Meaning the Watcher can show this version of Gamora her life, her future and maybe invade her heart and emotions with these memories and become the Gamora we know. That would drastically affect the way the movie moves forward by the halfway point because now the Guardians don't have to look for Gamora by that point Gamora will be looking for them and they'll find each other otherwise maybe the Watcher will fill some antagonistic role who knows the last time we saw the Watcher they were just Watchers talking to Stan Lee and Guardians too so what are your thoughts on that thank you all so much for watching have a great rest of your day I want to hear all your thoughts in the comments section below on what you think of this news and what do you think of my Gamora theory in relation to this news. Thank you all again. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the comments.